Hello and welcome to another Lynx tutorial video for the Lynx member portal. In this video we will show you how you can change the MAC address on any of your peering services directly through the Lynx member portal. Before attempting to change the MAC address, please be aware that your portal user account needs to have either the NOC or implementation role assigned to it. You can check this yourself by looking at the account users, searching for your account and it will show you what roles are currently assigned. In this case, Mike is shown with the implementation, billing and guardian roles. The implementation role means Mike has permission to perform these changes on the services. You can then go to the services page, select port services and scroll down to see the list of your services. Find the service you want to change the MAC address for, click on the plus sign which will show you the peering port unit. This is the actual service that connects it to the peering LAN. Click on edit service for the peering port unit and this will bring up the form which allows you to change either the MAC address or bandwidth of your peering service on this port. At this time we are only focusing on change of MAC addresses, which is a change which can be performed immediately by our systems in the back end once you click submit. Here you can input your new MAC address, it will be validated for basic format checking immediately and it will enable you to submit the order. Once you click on submit order a number of things happen in the back end. The port gets moved into the quarantine LAN and we ping the IP address of your router and we validate that we don't see any traffic that isn't allowed per the MOU. If all of these tasks pass, the port gets moved back into the peering LAN with the new MAC address applied. You will receive an email as soon as you submit the order to let you know the change has been initiated. You will receive another email after the change has been completed or will be notified if it's failed. This will give you information about the checks that have passed or not passed and will advise you how to proceed. If there is an issue, it may ask you to try again or to contact our 24-7 NOC team who can help with those changes. You can also see the status change in your list of services so you'll be aware if it has been completed or still ongoing. The test itself takes between 1 and 2 minutes. If you require further information, then please go to our Help Centre in the top right hand corner of the page. In the FAQ section, there are a number of articles including examples of the changes and email messaging. If you do have any further questions, please do not hesitate in contacting our support team, who will be pleased to help you.